Could you tell us why and how is the PTC relationship important to you um, overall as part of the digital transformation business that you guys are running? So we truly buy off on this, on the PTC vision of a physical and digital world, world colliding or converging, if you will. And that's, that's the first time we have actually seen a vendor talk about that in that context, which mirrors what our customers are talking about, right? This whole notion of a digital twin, digital thread. These concepts didn't exist sure. four or five years ago. No one talked about that. So the vision, the, the, the matching of the vision, the mapping of the vision, very similar. And of course, the technology footprint that you guys have, uh, all the way from CAD to PLM to IoT to AR now. So I feel like, you know, you guys have put together the necessary set of technologies in one-stop shop, if you will, that otherwise we'd have to cobble together multiple sets of technologies to make it happen. Even in non-PTC accounts, or where PTC is not a dominant player, we are beginning to see that trend emerge where ThingWorks and Euphoria are beginning to play a role, even though their CAD and PLM systems are different. So we see both of those things happening, and again, love working with PTC. We are across different verticals. So let me take an example from industrial manufacturing. Sure. So we're uh, working with a commercial motor company, and their main idea was that, how do they transform from selling motors to selling motor as a service. Mm -hmm. And what that basically means is the entire motor, all the way from engineering, has to be redesigned in a world where they're sensor enabled, and there's a gateway that they can obviously provide, all the way into the cloud, and of course the insights. Wow. So the idea here was that to say that they needed a partner who just not only looked at the IT aspect of it, but also the OT aspect, or the operational technologies, the embedded design, so Tech Mahindra was able to bring that entire process in, one, in a one-stop shop mode, wow. which was very unique, and we were able to deliver that on time. And so now they have moved from essentially their standard way of offering the motor sure. and maintenance to a subscription model. Yeah. And for an industrial company to make that transformation is truly what I believe is digital transformation. Is, yeah. And we are doing that across the board with other companies as well in industrial manufacturing, in aerospace, and automotive. So we see that trend, and we see technologies coming from PTC having a huge impact in this trend. Five G, as you know, you know, it's still in its infancy, yeah. if you will. It's still just starting out. It's a concept, and yeah. it's it's working itself out. But as it does, I think the biggest impact is going to be on IoT and AR yeah. and AI. All those three things are gonna boom like nobody's business in the next three to five years yeah. as the average consumer or the business starts feeling the power of 5G. And it's not just about the hype of how fast can it be, but it's also about what will I do if it is so fast. So today's reality is it's kind of there, but not there, 100%. So 5G is gonna be a great enabler to say, Let's make this reality. Let's see those dashboards in real time rather than saying, hey, I'm do still doing operational metrics, right? Yeah. I'm still doing what happened three years ago, two years ago, as opposed to what's happening right now in every factory of mine yeah. worldwide.